that this shop has been closed by... So Channel 1 is doing the right thing tonight. They are leading off with, apparently, Massage Powers closed. Wow. That is crazy. I am surprised the swag man actually did something good for once. But there's nothing on the website about it, which is which is messed up. As you heard the mayor just say, this is not a victimless crime. Now, the mayor also said he's received numerous complaints about possible sex trafficking happening at all hours of the day and night here on Roosevelt Avenue. Residents and local business owners say this is a persistent problem in the neighborhood and is harmful to the community. Yeah, it is. I really hope and get this. Uh, it's been a real problem on Roosevelt Avenue for years. I'm glad the mayor is doing something about it. Good. Work here with family, with uh, with kids, with child, and that's really bad. It's no good for anybody. I think so. Like for the kids also, for the like for like people like us also. Like you know, like sometimes customer like the guys they come and they say massage, we didn't massage, and we don't do those things. Oh God, you know it's so disgusting. Now, Cheryl, officials say that Let's they will hope not that, be making you know, arrests in we don't hear with this alleged any more thing for one da da, one da da. Yeah, I don't want to say the innuendo on here, but, you know. Leading us off to other headlines we're following this hour in Brooklyn. A string of unrelated shootings leaves five people dead. Police on the scene. So believe it or not, Channel One's actually leading off their newscast with crime tonight. No word of any arrest. This is a shot. minutes earlier, police found another man fatally shot in the neck on Schenectady Avenue in Crown Heights. A person of interest is in custody, according to authorities. Police also say this three is a others shot. were killed overnight in Park Slope and Clinton Hill. And we're learning tonight that a dancer has died after eating a. Oh, now they're going to talk about this. She was allergic. Twenty-five. Years uh, I know what happened with that woman from the stew line. Is that that one was an unfortunate thing. So I wonder. I bet they're going to talk about politics next. Officials say the cookies were made by wholesaler Cookies United and labeled with the Stu Leonard's brand. Authorities say the same cookies also had eggs, which were not listed on the label. The cookies have since been recalled. President and CEO Stu Leonard Jr. says the supplier changed the recipe without notifying their chief safety officer. But Cookies United says they notified Stu Leonard's in July and that all products shipped to the real retailer were labeled. Yeah, there needs to be better the communication. Stalking Taylor Swift. Oh, and of course. Again after being you can talk about the man who stalked Taylor Swift again. This is his third arrest in a matter of days, according to police. 33-year-old David... All right, I'm, I'm done here. I'm done here. Including stalking and harassment. All right, but I'm glad Channel 1 let off with, with that, but I'm not seeing anything on the website about it. Because, again, again, like I figured, they're going to talk about Donald Trump. Am I surprised about that? No. No, I'm, I'm not. So I'm just trying to see if I can find uh, the video. There was a video on here. Let's see if I can find it. Give me a second, guys. I'm just trying to look for the video. As you, as you see Donald Trump just, you know. Yeah, here it is. This is the video. Here's the video. This is a big deal today. So, Mazi Billup and Tom Swazi both held press conferences today. Let's quickly watch this one, and then we'll end the video. I'm a legal immigrant and a candidate for Congress. And uh, I want to thank everybody. I, I know that you guys were just here for a press conference. 
The race for Congress came to Creedmoor Psychiatric Center. So they were both a Creedmoor. Wow. Distance residents worry about our border crisis. It started in the morning with GOP candidate Mozzie Pillip alongside Long Island Congressman Anthony D'Esposito blasting the migrant site, claiming it brought alcohol and drugs to the neighborhood. There have been reported intimidating encounters with migrants who have demanded money and harassed children and engaged in public drinking and drug use. And claiming her opponent was to blame for the country's immigration crisis. He created this problem. He supported President Biden 100. Yeah, and not to mention, he bragged about kicking ICE out of Nassau County when he was county executive. Percent of the time, as a county executive, he kicked ICE. Yeah. He was very proud about that. Yeah. This conference was just held, so I thought it was important that I come here and just rebut uh, some of the things that she brought up directly. Once the Republican hey, candidate I have an idea, Tom Swazi. Why don't you leave Glenn Cove and go retire? You're already at that age. Let Mozzie do her job. Ninety-six warrants. They refused to coordinate with the Nassau County Police Department. It turned out that 90 of those 96 warrants had the wrong address. And they broke down the doors and went into people's houses that had nothing to do with the warrants they were trying to execute. Swazi was put on the defensive. Both Pillip and National Republicans in TV ads are using his own words against him. He even bragged about getting rid of... Well, I do agree with the Democrats on one thing. Something's got to be done about Citizens United. Because the, 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 these super PACs really shouldn't be influencing elections. For his part, Swazi is trying to take back the narrative, releasing his own ad this week. You've been hearing a lot of nonsense blaming Tom Swazi for the migrant problem. Really? Oh, boy. As the left pushes to abolish ICE, here now is one of the few Democrats who voted to support this vital agency. ICE is an important... And speaking of the immigrants, they're talking about a migrant shelter right now. Yep, look at this. You can only imagine where he'd be. So there you go, I mean... Look, look what's going on here. I mean, you see what's going on with Channel One. Now I got people yelling outside of my house right now. Just fantastic. I mean, you, you get the idea, folks. So Channel One, you sort of did redeem yourself tonight. I will give you credit. So that, that's pretty much it. And by the way, they're not talking about migrants. They're talking about the Bowery Mission helping homeless people. But yeah, I'm, I'm done talking. So that's going to wrap up this video.